Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flights in 2020 and my Japanese prefecture tour. In this video we're going to cover Shikoku, which is this island here. It's the smallest of the main islands. Oh, there we go, there's my cursor. Uh, smallest of the main islands of Japan. And Shikoku literally means four states or in this case four prefectures, but probably they were originally like uh, um, daimyo domains or something like that, feudal domains. So um, could mean uh, Shikoku could mean four countries as well. States is sort of generic in the way that the word state is sort of generic in English as well. But uh, yep, we are going to start at Oita where I left off and fly to Kochi, which is sort of the southern prefecture here, and then Tokushima and then, uh, Takamatsu. That's not the name of the prefecture. Um, Kagawa is the prefecture that uh, Takamatsu is in, and Ehime is the prefecture that Matsuyama is in. So those are the four, and I'm going to fly to MB339, which I may fly for the rest of the series because I like it so much. So anyway, uh, this is the plan. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at Oita. It looks like... There's a uh, flight plan in, so bearing 93 there. Um, where is that anti-skid? Let's have anti-skid. I think I might need that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, judging from the previous times that I've handled this on the ground. Let's see. I don't have rudder pedals, that's another thing. Uh, it's got this uh, narrow wheelbase, and so it's twitchy on the ground. Okay. So, heading 93. And I'm just using my normal livery with the MB339. There's a tunnel between Oita and Shikoku, I think. But no bridge, I don't believe, so... We're not missing out on that. It'd be over to the right. Uh, you can see sort of the little spit of island there and over there. Now, as far as special points of interest are concerned, there's apparently one at Tokushima and also a bridge at Takamatsu, or uh, actually more like... Uh, west of Takamatsu. So we'll take a look at those. Otherwise, uh, Shikoku doesn't uh, get too much love. We will sort of be missing out on the southern end of Shikoku, um, where it is a city called Sukumo and Shimanto. Yeah, we're giving that particular part a pass. Those are part of Kochi Prefecture, and we're headed to the main city in that prefecture, which is called Kochi. Oh, nice little town here, and wind turbines. This is Ikata, I think, is the town, and there's also Yawatahama uh, over here. I think uh, right there... Some of this is Yawatahama. Clouds at just the right level for us. This is real world weather at the at the moment, so not the real time. I didn't want to fly in the dark, so overall Shikoku seems to be rugged but low lying. I mean the mountains don't seem to be especially tall. But we'll see. There's a Mount Surugi. I remember that name. That's in Tokushima. So we'll see if that looks good. There's an Ozu city. Uh, I think that's to our forward left there. And I think if we follow that highway, we'll end up at Kochi. I wanted to put a little bit more fuel in. I forgot about that. One, maybe 60 
percent rather than 50 percent just so that we could cover ground faster well there's the Pacific Ocean and Kochi is on the Pacific side very green prefecture So this right here that we're coming up on, this uh, right on this river is Susaki. And I'm trying to figure out what river it is, but that is not popping up here. Sakura River, okay. Uh, Sakura River apparently. Oh, actually, Sakura River is that one to our our left. The one on our right, I don't know yet. Uh, that's Shinjo River. Shinjo River is behind us, and Sakura River is this one that's flowing out here. Okay, so this has been Susaki. Okay, this is Tosa. Tosa is actually mostly on this river, which is the Hage River. But the Hage River is pretty small compared to the next door river, which is the, the Nyodo River. Tosa seems to be more oriented along this Hage River, but it does go right across the Nyodo River as well. So you can see the big river in front of us, that's the Niodo. Okay, so that is Tosa. And next city up is Kochi. Kochi is on a bay that has quite a lot of rivers going through it. Uh, Kagami River, uh, Kokubu River, and others besides. I don't know if we've got any any special sites around here. It didn't identify any points of interest or anything. On the map, I mean. Stadiums are 2D. Got some lag indicating that this is in fact a large city. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So this is Kochi. Let's go fast and high now. To get a good sense of the scope of the city. Not that high, but high enough. Alright, so departing Kochi City, and next up, we are going to... We're going to Tokushima Prefecture and Tokushima City. On the way to Tokushima, we should pass by Mount Tsurugi. I'm gaining altitude in order to improve upon fuel efficiency. So in Google Maps for Shikoku, uh, the little description says small tranquil island with a famed hot, spa, a hot spring spa and pilgrim pilgrimage route with 88 Buddhist temples. Okay, I mean it seems tranquil enough, that's for sure. I'm sure the residents could give a few other pointers on what people should look for on the island. It's not a small island. I mean, it's the smallest of the main islands of Japan, but it's not small. Uh, there's apparently another Mount Tsurugi in a different place. This is the Tokushima Mount Tsurugi. It is apparently 6,413 feet or 1,955 meters. 
the other Mount Tsurugi in Toyama Prefecture is much taller though. That's uh, 3,000 meters. So I don't think uh, Mount Tsurugi is a standout peak. It's among these that we've got in front of us. I think it's this one right in front of us right now. So yeah, best I can tell from the maps, this is Mount Tsurugi. That's in green right at the top here. There are lots of roads around, so people visit it. There's definitely something at the top there. I mean, it seems like they like to put temples and monasteries right at the top of mountains, so that happens. Okay, actually we'll head north a little bit because there's a whole stretch of uh, cities leading up to Tokushima. So we'll follow along those. You can sort of see it uh, uh, up ahead. There's a valley with a river and a whole bunch of cities along that river. The river is the Yoshino River. I wonder exactly where the prefecture boundaries are because Kagawa Prefecture is north. It's somewhere north of that river. And then uh, south of the south is Tokushima. I think the border between the prefectures is formed by mountains rather than the river though. So I think this river is firmly in Tokushima. Okay, so there's supposed to be some site at Tokushima. We'll slow down a bit. I targeted the site as my waypoint. So we'll see what they've got. The point of interest, I mean. This city right here is called Mima, which, if I'm reading the kanji right, is uh, Beautiful Horse, Beautiful Horse City. I feel like I've seen this sort of thing before, but I might have flown here before. So, And then following the river, uh, there's some suspiciously straight bends there. Okay, what's the heading now to the point of interest? A 96 degrees, 16 nautical miles. So, the river is Yoshino River, and which uh, in Japanese would be Yoshinogawa. And we're approaching Yoshinogawa City, or Yoshinogawa Shi. Okay, let me get an update. Uh, still 96 and 10 nautical miles. Um, maybe we'll stick in here for a bit. Getting a look at the Yoshino River City. I mean, fairly generic, of course, but not bad. I mean, still better than many cities in other Sims previous. So that's Tokushima, right at the mouth of the river. Textures do seem a bit washed out. Might be just the time of day, but they're very palish. Uh, there's some interesting buildings. Is this like a photogrammetry place? Maybe? We'll give it a few passes. Yeah, I think this is probably a photogrammetry city. Uh, you can tell by the interesting textures on some of the buildings. I know what that's supposed to look like. 
Okay, we're going a little bit fast. I'll do another pass with laps down. We just spot another interesting looking building. So, port side Tokushima. This is an interesting looking building right here though. To our left right there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's another one right there. Like uh maybe some sort of park. Like amusement park kind of thing, but it seemed small for that, but I don't know. Oh, there's another thing over there. Yeah, I'm, I guess we're just mound hunting here because of these mounds that might be points of interest. What is that thing? I don't know. Well, it's a little bit of big bush to me. I think that's probably wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I think it's misinterpreting that. This bridge... Apparently is supposed to have some sort of towers. Like, mini Brooklyn Bridge style, but not quite. Very nice though. I like it. All sorts of little details here and there. You know, uh, uh, a lot of these are communication masks that are red and white. Uh, they're sort of, sort of trust structure kind of things. They're like Tokyo Tower. I'm almost certain, so... Yeah. That's what those are supposed to be. Little dome right there. Okay, but we should move on. My fuel is getting a little bit low. On to the next location. Okay, so... Tokushima, everyone. Doesn't have like huge, huge buildings, but all the little buildings are pretty fancy looking with the photogrammetry, I guess. So, Kagawa Prefecture is next, and Takamatsu is where we're headed. Yeah, I mean, you can see why I wanted the extra 10% of fuel at this point. We'll see how it goes. So, if we headed uh, east from here, We'd go over into Kansai region and Osaka um, after after going through the island of Awaji. So there's Awaji Island, which is a, a fair-sized island, and then uh, Osaka. Actually, Awaji Island uh, forms the west side of Osaka Bay. And right now we're in the inland, uh, the sea to our right is the inland sea between Shikoku and Honshu, the main island of Japan. Actually, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, right at the tip uh, of Shikoku, as you get the bridge to Awaji Island, is a town called Naruto. So, that happens. I think that during my Around the World in 80 Planes series in X-Plane 11, I featured a lot of these, so I'm remembering these from X-Plane 11, too. So, the order of cities goes Sanuki, and then we'll hit Takamatsu, and then there's Marugame. There's also a Sakaide. Oh, there's some sort of interesting building at uh, Takamatsu there, I see. So there's now Takamatsu City. I think those are just Autogen tall buildings though. Ooh, a fancy thing over to the right there though. 
I don't know, there's some uh, interesting markings. At least. Yeah. Some interesting textures provided by the procedurals. Uh, not the procedure, uh, the photo scenery. Uh, uh, yeah, there's interesting. De uh, that's a detailed tower right there. No, that's not generic. Okay, so there might be serious detail on Takamatsu as well. I mean, this building looks nice over here to our left. That's a nice tower there. Yeah, this this looks pretty good too. Glad I stopped by. It's not the most uh, prominent city around, so. I'll have to look up its significance in greater detail. Uh, Takamatsu City. Okay, onward. We're really getting to the limits on the fuel here. And it's a nice port city though. So there's a bridge across to Honshu that is a point of interest that we're headed towards. And basically, I'll try and go high altitude after that to uh, Mariyama, so that maybe we'll get better efficiency. Tough to say, because we're also going to burn some during the climb. I'm only got to do a quick flyby of the bridge. It's... Kitabi Sasset... Sunset to Sunseto Bridge Kitabi Sunseto Bridge I think <laughs> or Great Sato Bridge maybe that's there seems to be a Great Sato Bridge Memorial Park so I'll take it So that's over to the right there. So this is a point of interest bridge, I believe. Uh, at least I can see why. I mean, it's a bridge to between two islands, two of the main islands of Japan. So, yeah, that qualifies. That makes sense. Looking good too. Very nice bridge, big bridge. As far as suspension bridges go. Alright. Yeah, I'm just concerned about fuels, so I'm not gonna do multiple passes this time. Let me try and get to my destination. So there's, uh, once again, Kagame Prefecture, uh, oh, sorry, Kagawa Prefecture, Kagawa Prefecture. We hit Kochi, Tokushima, and Kagawa. And the last is Ehime for this particular flight. That's the four Koku of Shikoku. Uh, let me see, is the bearing updated here? 249. All right. Yeah, it looks like it. 61 nautical miles. Can I do that on my remaining fuel? We're gonna find out. Oh, fuel low. It has a fuel low indicator. Well, great. <laughs> Master caution. All right, all right. Push to reset. But given that we've got fuel low, how far can we go? 60 nautical miles? Can we go 60? I'm not exactly starting from the most efficient position here. We're low and relatively slow. Higher than we've been on this flight so far, taking a look at Shikoku from the northern side. And Honshu is over across the water over there. 
we'll get back to our tour of Honshu next time. Uh, so that'll be Yamaguchi, Hiroshima, Shimane prefectures, maybe going on to Okayama and Totori. 88 kilograms, is that what that says? <laughs> 87 kilograms of fuel, 86, uh oh. Um, what's the, the fuel flow kilograms per minute. So that's not actually that bad. That's, oh, five minutes. <laughs> but can we do five uh, in five minutes? 34 nautical miles. We're going 295 knots. Oh, and we're pointing down. Um, uh, we're covering, covering five nautical miles per minute. So 25 nautical miles like that. Uh, well, we've got some altitude, though. It's gonna be close. I can see Maruyama. It's right here. So that's always a good sign. You, you can sort of imagine a glide slope into it. It's positive. To our uh, right here. Let me see the city's name. That is Nihama. 61 kilograms, 60, no, 61, 60 now, 25 nautical miles. Well, we're pointing right at the city that we want to land at. I mean, can't get, get better than that, I suppose. Okay, well, I'm satisfied that I can throw all down and we can start descending. It really decelerates quite a lot when you throw all down, though. Okay, so Maruyama, everyone. Oh, sorry, is it Matsuyama? I think it's Matsuyama. Is that right? I kept saying Maruyama, that's not right. Matsuyama, my apologies. Matsuyama. Oh, there's the runway. Very much high. I'm gonna put some air brakes on. Oh, there we go. Landing gear. Flaps. Air brake up. Alright, back inside. There's the runway. It's funny how the units on this are sort of mixed between various things, the uh, altimeter in feet, but the fuel quantity in kilograms. Okay. And coming in. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, I think 12 kilograms left. It says right there. Good times. Matsuyama. We have made it. One percent fuel remaining. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so as I take a look around here. I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.